Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Fantasy Foot Team 1 is leaving packs tomorrow, but we've got a Team 2 that is coming and we're starting to see the leaks for some of the players that are going to be in packs. So what I want to do in today's video is take a look at those leaks and set us up for what I would expect to see more of those leaks today and how that could impact this game and the market. I'll also talk about today's potential content with marquee matchups. Could we get something else? And of course, we have to talk about more Road to the Final player movements as cards like Nuno Menge and Lucas Mora Road to the Final are down bad, but Leon Gretzka with that upgrade locked and loaded for a plus two is up in price. And more Road to the Final games on tap today. So there's a lot going on, especially with the upcoming content with the cards in packs. Are they going to drop today? Will they start to go up as we near them going out of packs? A lot to discuss today. So if you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up. And if you have not, hit that subscribe button. Before we get into the fantasy leaks uh, for Team 2, what I want to talk about first is the content we had yesterday. Kind of a surprisingly decent day of content. Two Icon SBCs with Haji, World Cup, and Zambrata. The most popular of those two being this Zambrata. Coming in at around 600k, a little bit less than that. Highest rated squad being an 87 pretty craftable, right? I think a lot of people really like this SBC, and I know that not everybody wants to do this. You may have a better right back or left back in your team, but this card appeals to a lot of people. It can play both on the right and left side, five-star weak foot, right? It's a nice card, and it's a card that a lot of people can craft and get done here in the next couple of days, next couple of weeks, and put in their team and not have to worry about another defender in that position until team of the season, right? Maybe still over a month and a half away from that time on the game. This is a card you can craft and put it in your club for a while and be good to go. 560k, it's actually funny. The SBC price right now seems to be mirroring the price of the card on the market. So that you can't really argue too much about. Yes, this card was 700k plus before the leak. Uh, if you take a look at the daily graph, he was 716,000 coins before the leak came out. So the fact that the SBC right now is 564 is not that bad. It's around 600K, right? Uh, with the fodder prices fluctuating a little bit. And you can tell that a lot of people are doing this because number one, 88% upvote on that SBC. And number two, if you take a look around some of the rest of the market, some of the middle to lower tier cards in this game, especially right backs and left backs that are around the five to 700K range. Take a look at this Akimi, right? He was 440, went all the way down to 384 before bouncing back up to where he is now. So right backs, left backs around the game dropped in price yesterday, showing me that there is demand and a lot of people doing this Zambrata. Now, I do have one tip. If you're interested in doing this card, wait a minute. If you don't have the fodder to do it right away, or if you're interested in this, it is rumored that we will have a foot birthday swaps program. It just seems like we're due for a swaps program as well. Uh, that would give us a lot of packs and a lot of opportunities to get fodder very easily in the next couple of weeks to get this SBC done for even cheaper. So a 500k SBC, obviously, you know, with crafting, you can get that done for a lot cheaper. I think that's a good value SBC from EA. It's not amazing, but it's good. If it doesn't fit your team, it is what it is. But for those that want to do it, that opportunity is there and it's pretty craftable because of it. Now, yesterday, Zambrata's SBC didn't make the fodder market move much. What actually moved the most on the market were these 85 rated cards and they moved the most because we had an 84 plus times five repeatable three times in one day we get to do it three times and we get to do it three more times today before the SBC goes away and it's yeah it's a gamble pack right and it, it makes 85s go up so much because it's an 84 rated squad but you have to have two 85s in that squad and 53% upvote is around 55,000 coins is a gamble pack for sure, but it's not the worst gamble pack ever. I did it all three times yesterday and I got some okay stuff from it. I didn't get anything like super spectacular, but I mean, I'm probably broke even, right? And it's a fun kind of gamble to do because let's say you get like 385s or 384s in the pack back, right? Which is pretty commonly what you get. Maybe a walkout, maybe an 85 and then the rest 84s. You can put those 84s right back into the SBC, maybe use a couple other 83s that you have in the club, put in one more 85 or 86 rated, get that done, and then boom, you're good to go. Or go do a couple player picks, get some 83s, 84s, put them into the SBC, and then, you know, you have another one. So yes, it's a gamble, and yes, it is risky because you could get 584s. And my first one yesterday, I think I got 584s in like one inform or something like that, or sorry, 484s in one inform. But 
it, you know, it's not terrible for a gamble pack, and it gives you an opportunity like we did yesterday on a share play. We packed somebody Ledley King. These heroes are packable from this upgrade pack, which is right now with these hero cards being promos, you have that opportunity. So that's one cool thing uh, about that 84 times five. Three more times we'll be able to do it today. And of course, that means that fodder is probably gonna be rising again. 85s and 86s are basically the same price at 15 to 16K a piece, just because 85s went up so much yesterday. That was actually the only part of the fodder market that like absolutely exploded. 83s did pretty well. A lot of them went from like one point uh, six or seven K, uh, late yesterday, uh, or, or Wednesday, right? That's not a good example for the awesome in there. But if you take a look at like Schmeichel, I think, I think Schmeichel was like 1.8 K, uh, yeah, 1.9 and then boom, all the way up to 2.5. So 83s went up because when there's two 85s required in this 84 squad, a lot of people went out and had to buy 83s to finish off the rest of the squad. Since you had those two higher rated players in there, to kind of bump the rating up. So that's why 83s and 85s are moving the most. And with that SBC being repeatable again today, three more times, you're probably going to see 85s kick back up, 83s kick back up a little bit in price. Now, the only thing to stop that today would be the renewal and the refresh of the marquee matchups, which will bring some supply to the market today. And we will talk about that uh, in, in a second here. We'll talk about fodder a little bit more as well. But that was the content yesterday. Kind of a busy day, busier than we expected. We also had the Haji SBC, which at 157,000 coins isn't an SBC that too many people are doing, but it's not a bad one. And it's there if you would like to do it at a decent undercut from where he was on the market. I believe he was like 190 or 200K. So not a bad card right there. Now, of course, Fantasy Foot team number one is ending. And we know this is a two week promo, right? Because EA has been saying this is a two week promo. It's on their website. Everything they say is this, this. Team one, team two, right? This and that. And of course, we have leaks for a team two. And we saw a lot more leaks yesterday, especially for the Fantasy Foot heroes. And that's what I want to dive into right now are the leaks that we have currently and talk about more of the leaks we're probably going to see today. We've already talked about the Aloe Way run, right? That was leaked yesterday. He's going to be getting a card. This hero team looks really, really good, guys. We take a look at these leaks. I don't know. You let me know down in the comments, but I think this team two of the heroes specifically for Fantasy Foot looks better than team one. Started with Al Run, of course. Yesterday, we have a Dirt Kite leak, and these are stats expected, by the way. The upgrades in these cards are not 100% amazing. It's a lot of plus ones and plus twos, but again, remember, they are live, and that's where a lot of the hype is here. Like, the example here with Dirt Kite is, I believe from his World Cup uh, hero card, he does not get an upgrade on this card of the pace and the shooting. Like, I'm pretty sure he has 87 pace and 90 shooting on his world cup card uh, but nonetheless he did get some upgrades in other areas it's a live dirt kite that will be upgraded based off of feanord uh, it's kind of nice that foot sheriff is telling us some of the leaks um, of what these players are going to upgrade based off of their club. That's nice to know. Not all of them, but at least for Dirk Kite, we know he's going to upgrade for Fe Feyenoord, so should get some updates there. Uh, by the way, an update on the Mario Gomez Hero SBC that we're going to be seeing. Uh, it's going to be a player pick, which I think is so cool. The opportunity to choose between Stuttgart and Fiorentina, which, of course, last year we had the captain's Mario Gomez that was Serie A. This year, uh, we get to choose whether you want it to be upgraded based off of Stuttgart and or Fiorentina. And we'll see what the value is when this SBC comes out. But based off of the upgrade potential, yesterday we were looking at it on stream, uh, the Fiorentina Serie A Gomez would probably have a better opportunity to get the uh for sure the plus one upgrade right for winning a game but have a better chance at maybe getting that additional upgrade of not losing it'd be tough but they've been on a good run of form and uh have some easier opponents if you will so that's kind of cool this might be our sbc friday i don't know if it's going to be today uh, but we'll talk more about that a little bit later another leak for a fantasy foot hero jj okocha 90 pace, 95 dribble, five-star skills, of course, stats expected, and based on Fenerbahce, uh, that's how he'll get his upgrade. So a Fenerbahce Akocha right there. Not an amazing card, but again, a small upgrade and a live item. Again, it's just this promo of the, the leaks, at least, for these Fantasy Foot Team 2 heroes, there's just a lot of really solid cards in here, right? As we keep moving on, Park G Sung, based on Manchester United, which you might be like, Nate, didn't we see an Ole leak? 
We did. Now, we're going to talk about that in a second, but Park Ji Sung is leagued to be in the team too based on Manchester United performance. And just like his World Cup card, he did not get an upgrade to pace or to shooting. Same thing as Dirk Kite. Now, I wonder, I know that Foot Sheriff here says stats expected, but I even believe that last week when he leaked some of the fantasy foot cards as stats expected, there was some small changes in there. So I'm hoping that Park Ji Sung will have above 86 pace and above 81 shooting, but we will have to see. I mean, you imagine a win for Man you this card goes to an 89 you're looking at 90 dribbling you're looking at you know 88 pace maybe uh if he has higher passing it goes to like 90 passing if they give him a little bit of an extra juice to upgrade that could be a pretty fun card also a position change for park ji sung none of his other cards have center mid they're either left mid right mid right wing left wing or center attacking mid on his world cup this one being center mid i think that might add some value to the card as well for chemistry purposes to put in some squads and for squad building so that's a w and then of course dina tally this one if alo wayron wasn't big enough here we go with an even bigger leak. This is one we needed, right? We needed a Dina Talley special. He got one last year during foot captains. He's getting one this year as well. And we would guess that he's going to be upgraded based on Udinese. Not guaranteed, but it'd probably be Udinese or Empoli. Hopefully it would be Udinese. But 91 pace, 93 shooting, 87 passing, 92 dribble, and 72 physical. A nice upgrade for Dina Talley. This card's going to be very expensive. Uh, when it comes down to the game tomorrow. So watch out for that. But that is huge uh, that he is getting a card. And the most recent leak that we have is Rafa Marquez. Stats expected as well. Not entirely sure who he would upgrade for. But 81 pace. We needed a Rafa Marquez over 80 pace. We got it. 92 defense. 90 physical. This is going to be a really cracked card. It's probably going to be pretty expensive as well. But I'm excited to try this card out. And uh, people really like his World Cup version. Uh, and I'm assuming that this one is going to be even better than that one with the bigger stats and the potential to upgrade, of course. So those are all of the like, you know, we, we talk about Foot Sheriff Leaks and we look at a lot of his posts. Oftentimes he is spot on and rarely, rarely misses. Uh, we can believe all these leaks here with pretty much a very high percentage of certainty. Now, there's some other leaks that I want to show you guys that we can't believe. We got to take it with a pinch of salt. We say that pretty often. A couple other cards that are in here. Milito has been leaked by this FIFA 23 leaks guy he did also leak the natale so you know that bodes well since sheriff and him have both leaked the same card uh milito he has thrown in here as a card that is going to be getting a fantasy foot hero he also has dudek and he also has mustavoy this is also the guy that leaked Sol uh, ole so i'm not really sure what to believe with all of these i would want to wait and see foot sheriff also confirm these leaks of dudek and milito and most of voice. So don't get like super crazy excited for these guys just yet. Uh, I would just believe the ones that we have from Foot Sheriff. And almost, I don't even know how many we just went through for Foot Sheriff, but I think there was at least four or five in there, including Ala Weyren. And uh, we didn't have that particularly big of a team as well. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, in the first set. So I would imagine it'd be around seven to eight. Again, maybe even a few less in team two. We'll have to just see what EA does. But those are all the leaks that we have right now. And you're like, like, Nate, where's the rest of the team? Where's the actual foot fantasy cards? Like we're getting a team two of these cards too, right? We are. We just don't have the leaks yet. I would expect the madness of these leaks to start today. And that's where I want to continue the conversation because we've had the hero leaks, right? And to a lot of people, those cards are going to be cool, but they might be pretty expensive. Now, what about the rest of the fantasy foot cards? We're going to get more leaks for these today. And I think this is really the leaks for these cards today is what's going to set the threshold and the just kind of like how much panic selling there is going to be and how the market reacts today is going to be based upon on how crazy these leaks are, right? Team one, decent, right? We've known, we've looked at these cards, we've watched their prices actually just continue to fall. Some of them had some spikes earlier on in the week, but Scrinny R, right? I sold for earlier on on Monday, I think for like 240, 250, even after I, I broke even on his card. And right now, Scrinny R is like 210, 207 on the market right now. Marcus Llorente was a card that was 1.5 mil earlier in the week. He was down under 1.3 earlier today. He's back up a little bit. But a lot of these cards are dropping off, including like, look at Fabian, PSG. I'm sure PSG losing didn't help the hype on this card yesterday, even though this card doesn't get upgraded for Champions League. Uh, he is down to 310. I mean, man, I don't know really if there's any profit in that buying that at 310, but I mean, that is a really, really low price for this Fabian card. 
uh, considering he was 370. So a lot of these guys are dropping, and I think if we get good leaks today, they could drop even further, as well as on Thursdays, what do we normally get? Marquee matchups. So I'm still not a huge fan of investing in those fantasy foot cards. If the leaks today look abysmal, that could mean these Team 1 cards might get invested in a little bit tonight into tomorrow. That's something to watch out for, but I would want to see the leaks for the real Team 2, not just the heroes, start to drop today. I think that will really decide how much panic we see on the market today on Thursday. Now, speaking a bit more about the market and today on Thursday, like I mentioned, marquee matchups refreshing today. It's probably going to be a quiet day of content. Thursdays are usually pretty quiet days, especially after the kind of pop in Wednesday that we had yesterday. New marquee matchups for sure. This is going to be expiring. So a new set of those today. And then the only other SBC we have leaked besides the Mario Gomez, which seems like it would be too big of an SBC for today, is the Nick Lima from Austin FC. So probably a quiet day in terms of maybe just a player SBC and marquee matchups. If we get anything else, um, also the 84 times five refreshing. But if we get anything else, I would be a little bit surprised, but it should be a day where a lot of stuff is moving on the market still. And if we start talking about the market, we have to talk about these Champions League Road to the Final cards. There are more games happening today. Now, of course, the games today are for Europa League and for the Conference League, but we can't talk about the market right now without mentioning Nuno Menge and the Lucas Mora that are absolutely down bad in price because no comebacks happened yesterday. We were hoping for some magic. At least some people were. There's a lot of people that bought Nuno Menj and Lucas Mora for the potential gamble of their club coming back and winning and, you know, pursuing uh, the next round of Champions League and kind of coming from behind, but that did not happen for PSG or my beloved Spurs. So we have a Nuno Menj who is 280,000 coins right now on the market. In my opinion, I know this is PSG links, and that's going to keep his price inflated. I still think this card is a bit too much. It's really not that great of a card. Three star, four star. It's just the PSG links that make this guy good. His inform is like not that much worse than this, and it's like 50k. So the fact that this one is so much more, uh, just because it's a cool card and it was live. I do feel like this card might drop off a bit more today, but also at the same time, so many people have player of the month Mbappe, so many people have, you know, Messi cards, other PSG cards like Ramos flashback in their team, that this guy is going to have demand and probably have a price tag that's just kind of inflated because he is a PSG player. But I don't think the panic selling on his card is done just yet. So be very careful with that card. I'm probably not going to touch him too much, um, at least until we get into like the foot birthday time frame. Then I would feel a bit safer um, looking at that card at least for right now is because all the panic is fresh right and some people that are still selling that card might still have it now same thing with lucas mora he is down to fifty-seven thousand coins and i know we looked at like felipe anderson as an opportunity to invest these cards now you got to forget that they were live right they're basically just a cool card design on a, a promo card just that doesn't upgrade and these are the stats they're going to stay with so that's a bit of a bummer. This is still a pretty good card, right? 94 pace and 91 dribbling. Four star, four star. I haven't tried him out. I'm going to absolutely have to do that for the Spurs squad at some point. But uh, just be careful with these cards. I don't expect them to rebound back that much, especially with the content and everything else that we have upcoming. So I'd be careful with Nuno Menge. I'd be careful with Lucas Mora for the long term and the short term, at least for right now. Now, and then, of course, with all the games that are being played today, right, you have a lot of games being played today. Now, the one thing I have to say is I think today you would see less price movements on these live cards. Like, I have a couple of talls still that are on my transfer list. Yes, this guy could rise up into their game today, but it's only the first leg of the uh, these Europa League and these Conference League competitions so it's not like there's an upgrade that is going to be happening based off of today's performances. It's all about, you know, the aggregate score and who can get started off on the right foot, right? The example is, I feel like there's a lot more downside on Europa League and Conference League cards today than there is upside. The case in point example is Felipe Anderson from earlier on in the week. On Tuesday, Lazio lost, right? They are down 2-1 on aggregate right now. Felipe Anderson's card went from 80K down to 50 Yes, they could come back and win in the second leg next week, but that's why I say I feel like there is some more, you know, potential for prices to drop on these if a team does not show out like, you know, um, 
uh, Nice are expected to win. They're playing Sheriff Tiraspol, right? Kind of the Cinderella story of Champions League last year when they beat Real Madrid. But this year in Conference League, they're playing against uh, Nice. So if Nice were to lose today, Atal is probably going to drop off a lot. I would still say our normal rules apply here. Sell on the hype to the game because some of these guys will go up a little bit. But I would just tell you, be a little extra careful with any road to the finals that you have today that are playing. Even, you know, if it's Martial, if it's Miranda, uh, if it's Martinelli, because these guys all have technically the potential to drop off in price a little bit more today. So that's just kind of something to keep an eye on and to be careful about and to be watching. Now, also today, this is a more kind of like a leaks uh, based conversation, but Premier League Player of the Month voting has closed. And oftentimes when the voting closes on this, I believe it closed on Monday or Tuesday, I would expect a leak for this maybe today. And the SBC might be tomorrow. I'm kind of surprised we don't have a leak yet because usually the second Friday of the month is when we get the Premier League Player of the Month kind of early in the day. And there's a really good potential that it could be Marcus Rashford again. Back-to-back -back months with the Rashford Player of the Month. And I'm only telling you guys this because if you have a Rashford, specifically this Rashford card, who's about 760 k at the moment, if Rashford gets another Player of the Month, it might be above this card in terms of some of the stats. It might still be 88 rated, but it might have better stats because the current Player of the Month that is out right now, um, you know, has minus two defense and minus one physical over this story's card. This one has the four star weak foot, which makes it a lot more desirable. And since this Rashford is still in the game right now and not expiring, I guess it expires in two days. Uh, I really feel like there's a really good potential here for whoever wins, especially if it is Rashford, for this SBC to be coming out on Friday morning. So be very careful uh, if you own this Rashford card. Uh, if Rashford doesn't win, maybe it's Ali Watkins. I don't know who else it would be. I didn't look into the statistics. This was released last week when I was away. But just kind of be uh, on the watch for a le release or a leak of a Premier League player of the month. Now, again, today I talked about um, the supply for marquee matchups once again. Watch the fantasy cards from supply today. Watch it with the leaks. I know I mentioned the leaks would, of course, affect fantasy prices, but I also do believe that uh, the supply today will affect that. And watch the fodder once again because on tomorrow, on Friday, we are getting that hero player pick refresh. We're going to talk about this more tomorrow on the video, of course, as well. That's a big part of content on Friday, regardless of whatever we get during Foot Fantasy Team 2. The fact that this SBC is refreshing, we'll be able to do it again on Friday. That could mean that some of your 85s, your 86s are going to be in demand again uh, as they were on Sunday. So the cars that we saw do very, very well on Sunday, you might see them do pretty well tomorrow on Friday, even though there could be some pack supply. So maybe just go back on Footbin and check and see, okay, what cards did really well when this SBC came out? Like 86s went from like 15K to about 20. Some of them did at least. Uh, now those are back down to about 15, 16K. Okay, those could be a look. Maybe you look at 85s, depending on how much they go up. So this is going to be something we'll talk about a bit more tomorrow. And if fodder drops off at all into the night, tonight on Thursday, that could be kind of a cheeky investment. Now, personally, right now, I'm pretty liquid. I did buy two Dina Tallies. Uh, but if Mario Gomez comes out, I, I might not like holding on to this card uh, as another Serie A striker coming into the game as well. So I'm really not doing too much right now. I'm just kind of chilling, quick flips, and doing some player picks. Hopefully today, if you're going to do some last-minute player picks as well, the marquee matchups should drop gold commons a bit. Because gold commons right now, I believe, are like 600 or 650 coins a piece. Very expensive. And uh, yeah, so if you're trying to do player picks, it's a bit tough out there. So good luck with your rivals rewards today. If you are going after those, I will not have any rewards. I kind of switched from playing rivals and started playing the homegrown 11 first owner fiesta instead for that 82 times 10, just because I feel like it's a little bit better. But hopefully EA drops some leaks today. It should be a busy day for Twitter. We'll be talking a lot about stuff on stream if we get some news. So if you're wanting to tune into the stream, that link is down below in the description. But if you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys today on the stream. Peace out.